Well, good morning, guys, and uh, here we are, part three of our uh, beginner wildlife tour, and uh, we've uh, we're coming into the field, and um, of course uh, we're not going to just any old field. We're going to a field at Martin Down. So Martin Down is a national nature reserve of scientific interest, with uh, acres of chalk grassland. Just have a look at this lot, folks. Um, you may be able to hear the larks in the background flying up, doing their little mating dance. Absolutely superb here this morning. And also, I've just heard my first cuckoo, which, uh, if you live here in the UK, that is of some significance. So absolutely awesome this morning. Not just any old field. And uh, that is a key factor with wildlife photography, knowing your area. And uh, Martin Down is one place we've been coming to for quite a few years on Camilla and I. Although I think this is the first outing actually recorded on video. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, there's always new surprises. They're just doing a little bit of scrub clearance over here. This is relatively recent work. So, uh, yeah, it looks very good. That's excellent. I needed to clear a little bit of ground in here. Um, this will be an excellent source of uh, for butterflies, moths, and uh, insects. Superb. Nice little clearing. We're looking for early season butterflies. In particular, there are a number of uh, orange chip butterflies around, and uh, indeed the green hair streak. I haven't seen one of those yet this year. But again, it's a little bit early for the green hair streak, but they're known to be here. And then moving a bit further into the season, you've got the very rare Duke of Burgundy butterfly, which particularly likes cowslips. But uh, anyway, we'll see. I mean, we've just got a cacophony of larks at the moment and the odd uh, yellow hammer thrown in. Absolutely superb here this morning. Anyway, I'll shut up for now because this is um, beginner wildlife. One could do a whole video just on Martin Down itself, and indeed, I probably will at some point. Anyway, yeah, the sheep have just invaded the main area I was gonna take you this morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> typical. Looks like we're gonna to have to do a plan B on beginner wildlife photography. Look at this lot. Yeah, the sheep have invaded. Obviously, they've designated this area, which I was gonna to come to this morning, for sheep and uh, they do play an important part in the habitat management keeping the uh, grass down so uh, obviously it's time for this area to get its annual prune but uh, yeah I was going to plonk myself just over there so <laughs> plan B can we go around the edge anyway I'll speak to you in a minute cheers for now guys well this fence seems to go on for uh, quite an area covered quite a bit of the ground so well uh, yeah I wish I'd come in from the other direction from the car park but uh, anyway what a wonderful scene um, it's great having all these sheep here what a beautiful area well I've just discovered the uh, fence is actually electrified so uh, <laughs> I wonder why it was such a short fence. There was no signpost on the fence saying electrified. So uh, health and safety hazard. But um, anyway, the um, real health and safety hazard at Martin Down is uh, adders. Uh, it's the only uh, venomous snake we have here in the UK. And uh, yeah, there's quite a good population around. Now I must admit, it's the only place I've ever been where I've been photographing and actually stood next to an adder. So, uh, yeah, bear that in mind. That, um, yeah, there's a good population of adders. So, um, yeah, dog walkers, keep your dogs on a lead, please. Otherwise, um, yeah, your pet might have a bad night at least. So, uh, yeah, watch out for adders. Hmm. Well, okay, guys, well, I've returned to this area because, uh, yeah, it looks very promising and it's just recently been cleared. 
give this a go. And I've spotted a first subject. Yeah, brimstone. A brimstone butterfly. So the camera of choice today is the beginner camera, the eight-year-old Sony A7 II. But we have put the tenth sharpest lens on it. But we still have to get close to this brimstone. And uh, ooh, that could prove difficult, especially as the sun is virtually up now. Yeah, so we'll just try and sneak up on our subject. 